Okay. This is the chuck, M14 times 1. This is what you'll use on the drill. Okay. Totally different look. It's threaded. And threads on. And I'm sure to tighten it, you'll just screw it on her and it will tighten as it's running. So there is a difference. Like I said, by looking at it, if you look how this is black, more hardened, this sort of thought we're going to stick this key in it. Nope, it seems like a little bigger key than the other one. Uh, this one, the key, I, it doesn't fit as well. It really doesn't. Uh, of course, with small stuff, you don't have to tighten the chuck too much. But I'm sure I'll have a few negative things. Nothing's made perfect, I understand that. But if it comes down to how the chuck key fits, well, I can take care of that. I've taken chuck keys, and I've sat there and uh, took off with the teeth a little bit with my Dremel and make it fit in there just a little bit better. Because I have the key. Let me get it out of here real quick. Here's the key for this one. You can tell it's totally different size. This key, when it fits in there, if you see what I mean, it'll kind of make them bind when they do that. You might find it on a new drill. Like I said, I have modified these though. I have taken, I may just get another key like this. I have taken and ground these down and actual trembled it to make a perfect fit where it will go completely in the hole and not have that binding action like two gears that don't fit together. You can see me fumbling with it here. You can almost hear it. See? That's not going to be no beggy. I can make that fit a little bit better. There is a round, a little bit of roundness to this. I can fine tune this key. I have bought a new key for a drill and had to sit there and do that. So that's no biggie there. Like I said, that one's threaded for the drill conversion. This is your tailstock drill. I believe to be a lot better quality. It is. A lot better quality. It would be nice if they could have put the quality of that into this. But just a small complaint. I said I may email them or call them about this, but I'm sure it's press fit because if it did take a screw, even if it's this thread, it could have been for something else, you would have had a small hole in there for the screw to go in. Otherwise, the screw's not going to grab anything. Because I've looked down here, and there's no way this came with any wash or anything that I just know how they're made. You would have a small hole in there. So, that answered that. Maybe, like I said, maybe this was for a different model chuck at one time. But, if it's up to me, I'd like to have this press as tight as I can. I take it out of the tailstock, I put it away. It won't fit in this box that way very well, but we can change that too. I guess it will if you did that. We threw away the other box, so that's no problem either. That's probably how I'll store it for now. I know I'm going to have to get a little box to keep my stuff in. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's something small where you can pull the drawers out and get your parts, but I'll take some pictures of all this. So we'll know the difference. The tapered one is B10. This one will be where it says your drill chuck will be M14 times 1. Because this actually says on here, if you look at it, it's the other one. This is actually printed B10. They may try to get a picture of that. Okay, thanks for watching this little episode.